Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to pass value from parent page to child pop-up window using JavaScript. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So we will start with the pop-up page. So in my Visual Studio editor, you are right now seeing the pop-up.htm. This particular page will be opened in the pop-up window using the parent page. So here I'll be creating an HTML table with two fields. Those two fields will have HTML span and those HTML span will display the values which will be sent from the parent page. So first I'm adding an HTML table. As you can see, I'm adding the first field, first name. And to display the first name, I'll be making use of HTML span element. In similar way, I'm adding the second field, which is last name. And for this particular field also, I'm adding an HTML span. So that's it. Our popup.htm page is completed. Now let's move to the parent page. So here also I'll start with an HTML table. The only difference between the HTML table of pop-up page and parent page will be that in parent page, I'll be adding text boxes so that I can enter values. And also I'll be adding two buttons of which one button will be used to open the pop-up window while the second button will be used to send the value of the text boxes to the pop-up page. As you can see, I have added the first field first name and now I am adding a text box for the same. In similar way, I am adding text box for the second field, last name. Now I am adding the third row for the buttons. I will be adding two buttons here. The very first button, as I said before, will be used to open the pop-up window, while the second button will be used to send the value of the text boxes from the parent page to the labels of the pop-up page. Now I am done with the HTML. Let's move to the JavaScript part. So I'll start the JavaScript part by adding the script tags. So the very first thing I am doing is that I am creating a variable. This particular variable will be used to store the reference of the pop-up window object. So here is the first function open pop-up as the name suggests it will only do the job of opening the pop-up window. So here you can see that the reference is written by the window.open function and it is being stored in the variable. So in the window.open function the very first parameter is the URL of the page to be opened. So it is popup.htm, then the title and the third one is the height and width. So now let's move to the second function. So the second function is sent to popup. As the name suggests, this particular function will be used to send the values of the parent page to the popup window. So I am starting with the if condition and this particular condition is used to check whether the pop-up object exists or whether it is open or closed. So in the scenario when user presses the second button that means pop-up window was never opened and user is trying to send the values to it. So it is invalid and the other condition is that the user has opened the pop-up window using the button but he has also closed it and now he is trying to send it. So in both the cases we will avoid the execution of the code and hence I am adding this particular if condition. 
now you can see i am referencing the elements inside the pop-up window using the pop-up variable or in other words the reference we just stored in the variable and i am making use of get element by id function to reference the element using its id So now both the labels, first name and last name, have been referenced. Now I'll be fetching the values of the text boxes and I'll be making use of inner HTML property of the HTML span to set the value of the text boxes into the HTML span. So now you can see that I am setting the value of the first name from the text box into the HTML span. In similar way, I'll be doing it for the last name. Finally, I am calling the focus function so that in case the pop-up is minimized, so it will come into focus. Now in the else part, I'll be displaying user a message so that he knows that the pop-up is closed and he can't transfer the value to it. So we are now done with both the JavaScript functions. Now the only thing left is to call them on their respective buttons. So now I'm calling the first function on the first button, which is for opening the pop-up window. In similar way, I am calling the second function on the second button, which will be used to send the values to the pop-up window. So our program is ready. Now we can run it and see it in action. So as you can see, the text boxes and the buttons are visible. Now I am entering my first name and last name in the respective text boxes. Now I'll click on the first button. So as you can see the pop-up is opened but the labels are empty. Now I'll be clicking on the second button send. Now the values of the text boxes are being displayed in the HTML span inside the pop-up window. So today we learned how to open a pop-up window, how to reference it and later use it in different functions and also how to send values from parent page to the pop-up window. So with this we come to the end of this tutorial. The links for the source code and the demo are available in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon.